How's it going, everyone? My name is Cynical, and welcome back to yet another Umineko no Naku Koloroni. Whew. All right, so we are still within episode four, titled Alliance of the Golden Witch. And if you want to get caught up, please click the link in the description down below, as it will bring you to the playlist with all the videos. So let's go ahead and continue from where we last left off, which is with Bachelor and Maria. Here we go. It's been five days, right? Yeah. Damn. Sorry for that. Eh, short hiatus. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, okay. Ah! あの<笑> ぶち殺してやろう。マリアたちは儀式を生き残っ<笑> Why would you want to resurrect your mother? Just saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, because she thought, yeah, okay. You know, children. They be what they be. Naive fools. Naive! お仕事とかで残業も休日出勤も何もないの。ずっとマリアと一緒にいてくれて、マリアのことだけを考えてくれて、マリアのために恐ろしい敵といつも戦ってくれるの。Like a soulless robot or something. Awesome. Like a puppet. Great. <laughs> Just figuring that out. なんでこの状況でそんなわけわかんねえこと言ってられるんだ。バトラは今キリエおばさんに言われたはずだよ。魔女を信じろと言われたはずなのに。くそ。こんなとこ マリアと口喧嘩してる場合じゃねえぜ。もう人質も何も誰も生き残っちゃいねえんだ。もうクソくだらねえ。おかしな儀式もゲームもおしまいだぜ。ここからは俺の好きにさせてもらう。まだ生
Right now, the only humans left alive on the island were himself, Maria, Goda, and Kumasawa. But there was no way that those two could call after being locked up in the gardening storehouse. Which meant there was only one person left. It had to be Kinzo. After continuing her pleasant chat with the person on the other end of the phone for a while, Maria slowly turned to face Bachelor. That sounds creepy. <laughs> then, with an unsettling expression on her face, she laughed. <laughs> it felt almost as though the person on the other end of the line was chatting about Bachelor. Maria, Battler couldn't imagine that this was the case. After all, it was inconceivable that Maria would talk intimately with Kinzo. And that she would be chatting about Battler with that eerie smile on her face. So, just what kind of person could be on the end of the phone? Who could make Maria chat with a smile like that? At that time, in the back of his mind, the words Kyrie had spoken to him drifted upwards. If a witch does appear, there's no need to doubt it. Just believe that it exists. Hmm. <laughs> After getting the consent of the person on the other end, she held the receiver out to Bachelor. Hi. Maria held the receiver out for him to take. As though it was perfectly normal. Battler hesitated just a little bit before taking the receiver. After all, by accepting the existence of the person on the other end, he'd have no choice but to acknowledge them. As Kyrie said, there is no longer any need to doubt that they exist. Battler took the receiver. As he did, Maria briskly left the room. Battler, who was a bit scared to find out for sure who was at the other end of the receiver, questioned Maria before taking the call. どっちだろうね。<笑> Battler stretched his hand out to Maria's back as she left. But the cord of the receiver that he was gripping stopped him, just like a chain. He readied himself. Bachelor put the receiver to his ear. Congratulations! And I'm fine! And you? <laughs> Oh, I love that it's in English. I don't know why, it's just... I, I just like it. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
screwed up. Mocking English filled his ears. It was the voice of a woman he didn't know. Who was it? The inside of his head was starting to freeze up. Who was it? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, nice expression there. I don't think we've ever seen that one before, have we? Hmm, alright. Damn, my boy game pissed. That last laugh didn't sound like it was aimed at Battler. It was almost as though Kenzo was right next to the phone, cackling as well. Cool, Hawaii! Okay, what? マジで千年は待ったぜ。京都夕日をよ。おかげさまを持ちまして。わらは大復活。サンキュー金蔵。特別にさっきの待った。聞いてやってもいいぜ。いやれやれ。上機嫌にも程があろうが。She don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, Ginzo and Beatrice sat facing each other over the chessboard on the reception table. There was an expensive cheese and snacks to go with drinks. And there were several empty wine bottles lined up. Damn! I mean, how much did you all have to drink? Y'all drunken bastards? Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> uh, as Beatrice rolled around on the sofa in an unseemly way, she happily held a wine glass in one hand and was probably completely drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> Alright. おいおい、銀座。こんな年代物の寄付ワインなんか飾ってんだよ。1947年ものかよ。今日開けなくていつ開けるつもりで。それを浴びせっこして遊ぼうぜ。空き瓶で殴り込むしよう。ああ、それは愉快だ。浮かれすぎであるぞ。羽の外しすぎだ。金蔵だって。わらわに再会できて嬉しいだろ。ああ、シャバだ。うつよだ。
Okay. さっきから何を騒いでるんだお前がベアトリーチだとでも言うのかよイエーイおいうーん金蔵の十三人殺しの儀式のおかげでようやく悪を復活したぞ口があるといい下があるといいこうしてそなたと話せることがなんと楽しいことかそういえばお前とあれだけ何度も何度も憎まれ口を叩き合ってきたのにこうして刑務中に万丈で会話をしたのは初めてだな何やらとても新鮮だお今のポンちゃんと
はいはいはいはい。俺がてめえの酔いを覚ましてやるぜ。Oh, hell yeah. 向かえ酒には俺の熱いパンチをくれてやるクラップクラップ。首を洗って待ってやがるバトラーインポーシブリスラムドゥレシーバーダウン。There was no need to talk through it anymore. I'll meet her face to face and settle this. You do that. Alright. Well, well, well. <laughs> Learned some things I didn't really need to, but hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I took the spear. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I took the spear I'd made from the hat stand. And went outside without even an umbrella. It's hard to imagine that the young woman calling herself Beatrice is waiting for me alone. I should probably assume that, as Godasan and the rest said, she'll be waiting with supporting troops. Going alone would be too reckless. Hmm. Godasan! Kumasan! Orda! Batura! I headed for the gardening storehouse first. I need all the help I can get. Godasan is big, so I can probably count on him for some firepower. Kumasawa-san's knowledge and familiarity with the terrain as a senior servant might become a huge weapon. Both of them have master keys, and they know more about the mansion than I do. They'll be pretty reliable allies. As I banged on the shutter and called out for them to open it, I remembered that there was nothing they could do from the inside. I would have to get the key back from them before opening the door. I rounded the corner, knocked on the small, late ass window there, and opened it. It's gonna take a wild guess and say I'm 70% sure they're dead. Yep. Okie dokie. <sighs> the scene in the shed, lit by a dim light bulb, was very strange. Kota. Really now? Kumasawa. Now I'm a hundred percent sure. <laughs> <sighs> From a low ceiling beam hung two thick ropes. And at the ends, Godasan and Kumasawa san were hanging by their necks. Jesus! Was not expecting a CG of it. Oh my god! Fuck. Yikes. Alright. Oof. It was dim. And cramped because of the various pieces of equipment strewn about, so I couldn't make out the situation clearly. But when they showed not even a tremor after I called out to them, and because of the way the loops around their necks seemed to carry the full weight of their bodies, I could sense no trace of life from them. So <laughs> Sorry there, Sony boy, but nope. Toast. The shutter was still closed, and there was only a single key, which had supposedly been given to Godasan. So, how had the culprit opened the shutter and killed both of them inside? No. Wait. They weren't necessarily killed. Is this a suicide? That way, this closed room makes sense, but I don't know why they would hang themselves and commit suicide. Feebly, I slumped down on the spot. Now, the only humans alive on this island are me, Maria, and that damn old geezer. No, there's also that insane woman calling herself Beatrice. 
There's Maria, who had acted like the witch's ally from the beginning. And that geezer. The ringleader who revived the witch. And the witch herself. <sighs> what the hell. By now, I might as well be the only one on this island. Using my pole as a cane, I feebly rose. Damn. I can't do it like this. I've got to avenge everyone. Might as well cry while I can, so that my frail emotions will be squeezed out with my tears. Then I straightened up and gazed into the darkness in the direction of the mansion. At the entrance of the mansion, the witch is waiting. I'll go and settle this. I'll find the source of this weird, insane night and crush her with my own hands. Good luck there, buddy. Amidst the pouring rain, I walked through the rose garden without an umbrella, letting myself get soaked. I think we just switched to Maria. I could see the arbor on the other side. According to Jessica, it seemed that George Anaki had also been killed. Well, by this point, there's no need to worry about the lives of any hostages. I left the path, aiming for the arbor. Then, I saw George Anaki's weather-beaten corpse. Anaki. Oh. Okay. Damn, we're getting a lot of CG this chapter. It's gonna be hard to choose which one I'm gonna be using for my thumbnail. Damn. The corpse was in front of the arbor. If he had died under the arbor, he might have at least been spared being beaten down upon by the rain. In Anaki's forehead was a gaping hole, as though he'd been shot with a gun. Perhaps because the rain had washed away everything. His face wasn't covered with blood, so he looked almost like he was sleeping. Damn, man. I'm trying to... There we go. Oh, dude, there's even a... T oh, fuck, man, that's sad. Shit, man. However, his clothes were stained a deep red. And there were still signs that a large amount of blood had flowed out. How happy I'd be if he were sleeping, or else pretending to be dead. But even though the rain sprayed against Anaki's eyes, they remained open. And the hole in his forehead was no joke. But absolutely real. There had been a faint chance that even Goda-san and Kumasawa-san hanging by their necks in the gardening shed had been them playing a bad joke. But that naive possibility had been now completely denied. Hmm. And as I looked at this corpse, I became completely sure just as Godosan had once said, the enemy had come to take lives like pieces on a chessboard. Ah, that damn witch said something over the phone. Something about us being on the game board. Oh, 
こいつはゲームのつもりかよあらお前らがみんなをゲームみたいに殺したように俺がお前らをゲームのように殺してもいいわけだよな首を洗ってやがれベアトリーチェフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュフィッシュ At least for now, I couldn't sense a large group of them hiding and staring at me. What's this? Beneath the roof of the entrance. There's something set down. An envelope. Oh, a box. Alright. It looked like the kind of small box that girls often keep trinkets in. Or maybe it was the same kind of extravagant cigar case you'd find in a、uh, reception room. Either way, it didn't look like something that should be here. It clearly looked as though I was being told to open it. But for some reason, opening something before. Uh, being offered to me was irritating. However, it didn't look like we'd get anywhere if I didn't open it. Could it be that it's set up with some trap to make it explode when opened? Thinking things like that, forgetting even to come under the overhang, I continued to glare at the box, still beating down upon by the rain. Then, mixed in with the thunder, was some kind of. music? It sounded like that. It was the tone of a big clock in the hall announcing 2400. Midnight. It was also a sound announcing that this insane day, October 4th, Had finally ended, and that the much more incredibly insane day of October 5th had begun. That sound quieted, and I could hear an eerie laugh coming out of nowhere. I got the feeling that the voice was coming from the heavens, and I looked up at the sky. God fucking damn it. Why do you keep showing all this CG, man? I. I'm gonna have to choose, man. Fuck. Ah,、oh, readjusting my chair. God damn it. Only 33 minutes in, and I've got three fucking CGs here. Fuck. What I saw there was a woman I'd never seen before. No. It's not true that I never saw her before. I saw her once today. Yes, in the portrait inside the mansion. The clothes were different, but that face was just like the witch of the portrait. Ah, who am I kidding? I already know who this person is. Fuck! <laughs> so much, man! Oh my god! God. Fucking Christ, o m a n e k o you're making it so difficult for me. I'm actually pissed off. <laughs> God damn it. Yahoo! b a t u r a From the second floor balcony, leading out under an umbrella and waving high spiritedly. Was without a doubt the witch of the portrait, Beatrice. 
was the plan of the boss of <laughs> was the plan for the boss to take a bird's eye view and let the goat underlings torture me to death i adjusted my grip on the spear and imagining goats creeping out of the nearby shadows and the entrance and surrounding me i raised my guard in all directions <laughs> ここそなたまるでそなたという金具に対して守りを固める剣牢の城壁のようよ。それを現れは何度もゲームを重ね、駒を一つずつ進め、切り崩し、追い込み、じわじわとそなたの城壁を切り崩していった。そしてようやくわずかの隙
インクの海に溺れる哀れな存在であるないいや違う血がてめえのインク壺で全て真っ黒に染まっちまったことは認めるが白いマスはまだ残ってるぜほうどこに俺の足の裏にだぜお前の魔法のインクが島中を覆い尽くそうと俺が踏みしめる足の裏までは覆えないダイアンいけんこの島が真っ黒に染まろうと俺は俺だ白いマスをこうして踏みしめて立っているダイアンあああマグニフィギン I love that, man. It's strange. Until a second ago, I was shivering all over. But now that she's appeared openly, right before my very eyes, like this, my terror has actually lessened. Interesting. Ghosts are more terrifying when you can only sense them. When you can see them, and they have a face you can plant your fist into, there's nothing scary about it. However, she definitely isn't an interesting or a friendly person. She can kill me instantly by snapping her fingers while rolling around giggling. Whether we interpret the result of her snapping her fingers as magic flying at me or underling showing up to shoot me, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Whether this is fantasy or mystery, that queen is in a position where she can kill me by just snapping her fingers. There we go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> My first one failed miserably. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay. I see. So, does this mean she's the queen of this island who reigns over both? The white and black squares. So, this is the way to the sun. 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 Yes. So, this is the way to the sun. So, this is the way to the sun. So, this is the way to the sun. 今更次期投手が誰かなんてくだらねえゲームには興味ねえぜ俺のゲームはクソじじいとお前とうふみんなを殺したやつら全員にそれぞれ顔面パンチをぶち込むことだ Man, we're getting a lot of action scenes here not, not action action scenes but you know what I mean, right? Some good scenes What am I saying? I don't know <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Cynical, shut the fuck up, okay? Alright. <sighs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're wearing a jetpack and fly up there, boy. <laughs> or unleash fire under your soles of the feet and propel yourselves upwards. Like, uh. What, what the fuck is his name? Shit. Whatever. You all, you all know the reference I'm, ta I'm talking about, right? From, uh. Avatar The Last Bender and My Hero Academia. I think those are the only two that do that, right? You know what? Again, cynical. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Fuck. I'm so uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I think he's weird. Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh hell yeah. Oh, we mean no no. Why? Why? 
そなたが短期で切り込めるほどわらわの城はもろくはない Why? I tried opening the door to the entrance way, but it really was locked. When I looked around, I noticed that the shutters were closed and all the windows after all. Normally, those wouldn't be closed. <laughs> Gordo san and Kumasawa san probably had a master keys, but they were in the closed room of the gardening shed. I can only give up for now. そんなにわらわのすぐ隣に来たいのかいいぞそなたがテストに見事合格できたら越見を許そうではないか。How the fuck did Maria get in there? Oh wait, we actually don't know if she actually did. Oh,合格ということはそなたこそが時期投資そしてわらわの次なるあるず。わらわの肉体も魂もどう扱おうとそなたの自由よおはようやわらわは所詮は後ろ見分けの家具なのだからわらわは。We're <laughs> gonna have to change that laugh of yours, alright? <laughs> Jesus Christ. どうやらテストってやつをどうしてもやらせたいらしいな。I guess so. Easy. Uke de tatiara. Go kakustara. Sai shono go hobiba. Teme ni gunmen punch does it. Damn! Hell yeah. So rewa koai koai. Danga. Boyo kuni si hai sa reu no mo kirai dewa naizo. Well then. <laughs> Alright. She got some tastes. She's uh she's into that stuff, huh? All right. <laughs> hey, again, y'all got your preferences, all right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. All right, watch watch what you say here because if you say something that's a little <laughs> I'm going to have to take care of it. おっしゃ。高がその爪で獲物を引き裂き書き虫るように、わらわを蹂躙してくれよ。ええ、ですカーフォルワーズ、ではそうオッケー、イッツファイン。グッド。ダンキュー。若き日の金蔵を。オッケ
Apparently, it really had originally been a cigar case. Oh, well. I guess you can put a letter inside that. Although that's pretty stupid. Anyway, but there were no cigarettes or cigars inside. Instead, there was a western envelope with the one-winged eagle crest. And when I opened that too, there was a letter inside. I looked up at the witch. She was grinning wide down at me. It seemed she was looking forward to seeing what kind of reaction I'd have to the contents. Damn. Just perfect. Its contents were something like this. Among the three mentioned below, in order to gain two, sacrifice one. One, your life. Two, Blank's life. Oh, that's probably Angie's. No! <laughs> fuck! Oh, okay, no, I know it's Angie's. Okay. I, oh, fuck, man. Three, everyone else's lives. Wouldn't that just... <laughs> wouldn't that be Kenzo and Maria? <laughs> like, what the fuck? If you do not choose one, all of the above will be lost. Oh, that's adorable! Oh, But he doesn't remember her, does he? Uh, does he? Jessica Oh, okay, so it doesn't actually have to be Angie. But he doesn't have anyone like that. Hmm. Who would he write? そいつはちょうどいいや。愛してるぜ、ベアトリーチェ。お前の名前をここに突っ込んでやる。Nice <laughs> <laughs> try, but no. <laughs> oh, god damn it. だから俺が選ぶ選択肢は2番だ。これでいいか? おいおい、ちゃかすな、ちゃかすな。なあ、頼むよ、バトラー。お前の思い人の名をわらわに教えてくれよ。じゃないとテストにならぬではないか。悪いな。俺に特定の女はいねえぜ。仮にいたって誰がお前なんぞに話すもんか。そういうことではこの
But uh anyway. Yeah, he likes the big ones. Oh, damn! Well, that describes Beatrice to a T, doesn't it? Yeah, can we take that test instead? <laughs> I couldn't finish it. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay, I need to settle down there, boy. So, so. Jiki Toshi no test de atana. Hmm. So nata to shaberu no gata no shkute. Tsui tsui saki kara da sen shite shimau wa. Aren't we all just having a fun grand time? Hmm? So re de wa. Ah, fine. Alright. So, Natani. Wait, what? So, the letter that I just opened and read the questions out and shit. None of that matters anymore. Well, I guess he couldn't really answer it because he has no one he loves. Romantically, I'm guessing it has to be. That's just weird. <laughs> just brush that away. He has no one he loves romantically. All right. Fine, I'll just question you this and that. That's weird. Eh, I guess you need a backup, right? Anyway, anywho. <laughs> the witch. Who had been joking around like she was drunk until a second ago, suddenly regained her dignity. Hmm. Alright. She looked as though she truly had stepped out of that majestic portrait. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay, well, first off, I don't like how your portrait there is positioned. It needs to be a little higher. <laughs> because that uh, that line cropping your head, your temple, it's... Uh, <laughs> it's uh, <clears throat> destroying my... Uh, my moment here. Okay? <laughs> oh, God damn it. And, ah, there we go. It fixed itself. Excuse me. What? What did you? What? Akumenetoko uh, Zomwich and the Endless Witch Beatrice. Do you have the qualifications to inherit the Ushomiya family and all of my gold? Huh. Okay. Cynical. Oh, him, okay. <laughs> when faced with a dignity you wouldn't have imagined from her appearance a short while ago, I answered without any hesitation. And from that, yes. I see. I can tell why she's worthy of calling herself the true queen of this island. Did he ever... I don't remember if he ever explained why he... Well, was basically gone for the past six years, right? I mean, he mentioned that I guess he was having a falling out with the father and the Kyrie-san and whatnot and all that, but... I mean, the actual specifics, right? They never truly explained the full details. Just the outline of them. Hmm. Why is that noise? Oh, it's my heaters, okay. <laughs> Great! Do I have to move my desk? 
Fuck. So, as you know, I saw a skitter girl. Huh. Stay. Still, ya no psychon. So, not an okay, I see her how ya no seal. Bold and stay on the guns that are there. All right. Narhood. Ataraski, ha ha. So, not at all, none no chino tsunagarimon. そなたがその母を受け入れられぬ気持ちは分からぬでもないしかし父親が誰と再婚しようともそなたとの血のつながりは変わらぬのではないか何が言いたい父親の再婚に反対するという父親を独占したいがゆえのそなたの幼稚も多少の理解はしようしかしそれに反抗するために後ろ宮の名を捨てるは家と血に対する冒涜ではないのかそなたは後ろ宮に生まれ育まれてきたのではないかその恩を忘れ後ろ宮の名を捨てる資格がそなたにあったというのかお前には関係ない俺と親父の問題だ後ろ宮の名はお前と父親だけのものではないお前は知らぬ女に父親を奪われることを許せず反抗しただけの幼稚だ後ろ宮家の席を捨て去ったこの6年間そなたが後ろ宮家に泥を塗りし短からぬ年月その罪深きを知るがいい<笑>幼稚で悪かったなしかし祖父母の死を境とはいえよくぞ後ろ宮に席を戻したよってその罪を自ら見そぐ機会をそなたに与えよう今こそそなたの6年前の罪をあがなう時さあさあ思い出してごらんなさい自らの罪をそれを思い出し告白し懺悔せよそれこそわらわがそなたに与えるテストであるAt that time, a massive thunderclap ran out, making my mind go blank. Zange Silt. Nondo. I am at the Itaino Kayo. Mo Testo has him at the Irus. Sonata no skinny kanga e g a y The witch's expression did not look like a person forcing a tough question on someone and sneering at them. She was asking seriously, and he could even sense a quiet determination. Even though the rain fell on Battler, he did not shift his eyes from that gaze. The witch threw her umbrella away. She abandoned herself to the falling rain, so that the rain would fall on her until Battler answered that question. She had chosen to let the rain fall on her as well until he reached an answer. For some reason, Bachelor understood that, and yet he didn't understand. Well, ma, so they were you at it, yeah. You would start to almost none no can no it that day. Where did he slaughter the Morata? Where did he got psycho and stuck at the Chalani Nermunjane? 親父は養育費は常に送り続けてくれたそうだし学校の行事にも参加したいと言っててくれたそうだそれを俺が絶対に来させるなとじいちゃんたちに言ってたから来させなかっただけで<笑>た確かにそりゃ
、俺の幼稚な犯行だったと、ばっさり言われりゃそれまでだぜ。いや、でもよ。なのよ。おふくろの、後宮明日夢の無念は、誰が晴らすんだおふくろはあんなにも献身的に俺たち家族に尽くし、頑張ってくれたんだぜ。なのに親父はキレイさんと浮気もしていたエンジを見ごもらせてさえ言ったそれで出産に合わせて駆け込むかのように席を入れたんだ<笑>それがおふくろへの裏切りでなくて何なんだよおふくろの無念は誰が晴らすんだよだが、お前の言う通りでもあるさ。浮気は事実でも、俺を育ててくれた恩は確かにあった。なら、それを総裁して、俺が家を出ていくというので十分問題ねえじゃねえかよ。そうさ、俺にはお袋の代わりに親父をぶん殴る権利が、いや、義務があったはずなんだぜ。それを俺は許した。何も言わずに出て行って、初めから俺なんていなかったことにしてやった。親父も俺のことなんか忘れて、キレイさんやエンジェと新しい家族を始めた。それで丸く収まってるじゃねえか !But since then, six years have passed.Time healed the anger. Kirie san understood my anger, and even so, she tried to interact with me, even if it meant tearing her heart apart. Angie didn't know anything about the situation, and even though I lived in a separate house, she was raised believing that I was her real big brother and loved me as if it were true. Dad casually said to come home anytime I wanted. だんだんバカらしくなってきたんだよそろそろ、俺も頭を冷やしてもいいかなって思ったんだ。だから俺は、親父が謝ったら全部水に流すと言ってやったんだ。じいちゃんの葬式の日に。そしたらあいつ、本当に畳に両手をついて詫びやがったよ。信じらんねえくらいに情けない格好だった。あの格好つけた親父が、本気で頭を下げやがったんだぜ。<笑>それを見たら、なんだかもう馬鹿らしくなっちまった。きっと、おふくろもそう思っただろうぜ。おふくろは、俺と親父が喧嘩をすると、いつも笑いながら仲裁してくれて。なんだ、そんなくだらないことで喧嘩をしていたのと笑ってくれた。俺はおふくろがそう言って笑っているのを感じたんだよだから許すとまでは言えなかったけどもう一度ゼロから始めてもいいかなって思ったんだよそれで6年前に全てを巻き戻すことにしたそれで後ろ宮家に席を戻したんだよ俺も6年間泣き怒り悩み抜いたひょっとするとそれは親父もそうだったろうし死んだおふくろもそうだったかもしれないあるいはキリエさんやエンジェもそうだったかもしれないだからゼロに戻し後ろ宮バトラに戻ったんだそれは俺たち家族の問題であって後ろ宮家とかそんなのは何も関係ねえそれを罪だと断じる資格はお前にないし、それをお前に懺悔する義務も俺にはないもしそれを本当にすべき相手がいたとしたら、それはお前がもう全員殺しただから俺は何も謝らない懺悔しないそれが俺の、このテストへの答えだ
それだけか何<笑> Part of me had fully responded to her provocation and I had supposedly vented out all the stuff I'd kept inside my chest stuff I hadn't wanted to show anyone That was what the witch had supposedly been expecting. And yet, the witch's blank expression didn't change in the slightest. I'd been sure she'd start cackling and goffing, sneering at my childish, foolish, and shameful past. But to the contrary, I could feel a sense of disgust about her. Something you could almost call disappointment. So that I can't do anything. I'm going to die. 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 ここに土下座して謝れってのかよ違うお前たち家族のお前の家での話になど興味はないここはどこだ六軒島だ後宮本家の本宅であるこの場所にふさわしいそなたの思い出すべき罪があるのではないか他に俺に罪があるってのかよはあ思い出せ後ろ宮バトル What is she talking about? そしてそれを思い出せぬことがそなたの罪だからこそ許そうそれを思い出せたなら許そうそれを思い出すことがそなたへの食材のテストである思い出せって言われてもよ思い出せだからこそ罪なのだ<笑>悪いがベアと。俺には身に覚えがさっぱりだなんだか6年前の俺がお前に迷惑をかけたみたいな雰囲気だが The fuck? Did he? How weird would that be? Huh. 俺はお前とは今回の親族会議が初対面のはず確かにお前の伝説は6年前の当時にも存在していたが俺との面識は当時にはなかったはずだ無論である6年前の六軒島においてわらわはまだ権限していないなら俺に何の罪があるってんだ俺にお前に対する罪が何かあるってのか Did you say something bad about her in front of the portrait or something? <laughs> How stupid would that be? Ah, what the fuck could it be? Alright, I'm sorry, Jesus. Okay. Sonata to main skinado, Aro has the monai. Sonata to you, Sekai n o i t e And the world that you are, it was as though I didn't exist.、Hmm. Beto's cold eyes felt as though they were pursuing some kind of sin. At a glance, it felt as though she still hated me for something I'd done to her, and that she blamed me for it. However, I naturally didn't have a clue. And Bito had said it herself. Six years ago, there was no link between us. Six years ago, no person called Beatrice existed for me.
Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait a second there. I... Okay. Six years ago, no person called Beatrice existed for me. So the Beatrice here wasn't known as Beatrice back then. Okay, then who the fuck are you? What? Okay, I'm just gonna continue. Sorry. I think she just gave you a big one in that red there. <laughs> yes, this Beatrice right here on the screen. Remove that from six years ago. So this Beatrice, no. God, what? Hmm. Holy shit, this is a big mind fuck. What the fuck? Oh? Me? Is he starting to remember? Oh. お前の目がさ、わびろって。俺に囁いてくるんだよ。だが、俺はお前なんか6年前に縁はねえし、それはお前も認めたはずだ。本当なのか本当に俺とお前の問題ではないのか違うというのに、わらわとそなたの問題など
It's in red. It's not a lie. Don't say the names that have died in this uh, ceremony, if you will. <laughs> Don't fucking do it. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I am so baffled right now. All die. Indirectly, yeah. Like whatever he he had done six years ago is what caused this whole fucking thing to like like a domino effect. Like you just you it happens and then Time after time, it just unsettling. Just it just it just happens. Ah. Damn. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you serious? Bachelor, why? Bachelor! No! Okay, well, no, she didn't say it in red. It was just bold and, and white letters. So that could be a white lie. <laughs> okay, creative. No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I suck. Anyway, <sighs> white lies being half truths. Anyway. Okay. What the fuck? No, it has nothing to do with that. Oh shit. これまでの期間を don't do it, man. Don't. It might break him if that happens. No, no, don't do it. <sighs> Fuck. Don't. Don't. Please. I got a feeling he's gonna break. <laughs> I would in that fucking situation. Fuck. No. Oh god, I am so restless. Oh. Ah! Ah! Don't do it. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, my finger. I'm ready. Ah! Ah! Don't 
わけのわかんねえことを言って俺を混乱させるんじゃねえあっ、began to remember the coldness of the raindrops that kept pounding down. The rain earlier had just hurt, but now I felt a tormenting cold from those raindrops. Why did it cut off like that? That sucks, man. Oi, I'm a little bit of 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 a I was a little early off on that, on that uh, <laughs> but it actually fit perfectly. Because <laughs> it's like he's interrupting her. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. Hey, no, sorry. Ah! Oh. Uh. Why'd it get dark? Why'd it get dark? What's going on here? What's this? Okay, why am I getting a sense that there's two Beatrices here? What's going on? I'm confused. What the fuck? Nozomina <laughs> I am baffled. What the fuck? So did you know that? Kakeru Kotoni Imingar. So come on, Sirena. Not about Korenite. What I want to meet him. Game. Huh? Who are it? What do you mean by that? Wait, what? So not our dose. さあな。わらわはもう何の興味もない。すまぬが。わらわはこれにて。ゲーム版を降りさせてもらいたい。Oh. The one on the board and the one in the the metal world. Okay. Huh. そうか。分かった。後のゲームは藁が引き継ぐ。そなたは休め。うん。後のことは全て藁が終わらせる。そなたは全てを忘れて枕に顔をうずめ。羽の布団はそなたを全てから優しく守ってくれるだろう。後片付けを。頼む。任せよ。後のことは全て任せ。眠れ。<sighs> okay. Hmm. The witch who had questioned Battler hid herself, and the other witch who had appeared from behind remained. She certainly was identical, the same witch, but her expression was somehow indifferent and ice cold. Completely removed from the one who, despite seeming drunk up until then, had been in high spirits. Okay, I kind of get the situation now. I get why that question was asked. 
But who could... <sighs> what the flying... Who nanny? <laughs> who nanny? Oh my god. Okay. We're an hour and a half in, folks. Oh my god. Alright. Not really. You failed. The witch did not answer. Her eyes were as ice cold as Bachelor's shoulders. She was now clearly a different person since the time she'd first appeared on that balcony. The witch gazed into my eyes, and gave two small shakes of the head. Even without words, I was able to gather that she was expressing some kind of disappointment. Without saying anything, the witch turned on her heels. After that, only Bachelor remained, the cold rain still beating down on him. Damn. The study was in the middle of a lively party. It seemed that oh hello. It seemed that Gap was making fun of Virgilia, having tripped her up in some stupid way. They were spitting a la 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 and gap 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 at each other. Okay. Yeah, stupid nicknames, yep yep, okay, gotcha. Um, with this as the side show, Kinzo and Renove had opened a new portal. Oh, Still with those creepy eyes, I see. どうであったか Stop repeating yourself, you fucking drunken bastard. <laughs> it seemed like Kinzo was dead drunk. Facing Beto, who had returned, he laughed with the same level of tension as the time they'd left for the tests. However... Ranave and Virgilia instantly noticed the change in enthusiasm. Uh oh. Okay, someone's about to get. Gap also froze her expression and went silent. Ha 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 サケが足りぬか魚が足りぬかどしゃぶりを浴びながら牛でも丸焼きにしようかおお悪くないロノウェ早速準備をせよベアトリーチェよバトラのテスト結果は後だまずはスペアリブで乾杯と行こうではないか
Ginzo didn't have a clue what was going on, unable to understand why Beatrice, who had been in such a good mood, had suddenly turned so cold, he rolled around. The dancing silhouettes of the witch and demons created by that massive rolling torch looked like a group of excited spectators around a burning at the stake. However, the eyes of the demons who watched over it were indifferent. When Kinzo finally stopped moving, the fire disappeared, leaving a pitch-black corpse. The inside of the room was commanded by the stillness of the sound of the rain. Beatrice's expression was unbelievably indifferent. There was an iceness that might easily bring the others to the same fate as Kenzo if they annoyed her. Gap made a jet black pitfall swallow up Kenzo's cinders. If she hadn't carried that out quickly, Gap might also have been burned. You could even feel that thirst for blood. No, a thirst for blood probably isn't the best way to describe it. Just like humans don't have any particular emotion when they step on an ant while they're walking. That was how much, unconsciously and mercilessly, Beto was now filled with a brutal emptiness that wouldn't hesitate at burying a passbuyer. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, she crunched, she crunched. Okay, anyway, what? Yeah. <laughs> She's angry. どうしたのよ。らしくもなく何かあったのバトラが何かい Oh. Oh. See ya. <laughs> Damn. Why? Why, Gap? You had you just had to keep on questioning, didn't you? <sighs> My baby girl. <laughs> she disappearing. <laughs> I don't know when I'll see you again, but I hope I do see you. Beatrice didn't even answer. It seemed that she even ignored it. But there was a change in Gap. From her feet, a creaking, crackling sound rose, like thin ice breaking. And in an instant, turned Gap into a glass sculpture. G Gap. Oh, well, she's not completely gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, sheesh. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Beatrice spoke that in a truly cold voice, which could freeze the heart just by hearing it. Damn. After bowing, Ranave turned into a cloud of gold butterflies and hid himself. Hmm. After turning Gap, who had become a sculpture, into a cloud of gold butterflies, Virgilia also turned into a cloud, which mixed in with the others and disappeared. In the study made untidy by drinking, Beatrice stood still, alone. Since the time she had returned, her expression hadn't changed in the slightest. However, when she saw the fallen empty wine bottles and scattered cheese plates, her brow furrowed, and she looked a bit displeased. And when she whispered, disappear, in that instant, the room was cleaned up in a flash, as though nothing had happened. 
The reception chairs were neatly arranged, and there were no wine or cheese. There were no stains or scattered trash either. To the contrary, even the air had frozen over, and enough to make one doubt whether a large number of noisy people really had been in this room until a short while ago. The study had returned to silence. In that silent, frigid study where even the air had frozen over, Beatrice stood still. Then she called, muttering, Butara, Iruka. Hmm. さっきから言えるぜ。何なんだ。一体お前はさっきから変だぜ。変に見えるか。それはすまぬな。あれだけ蒸気圏に酒を組み交わしていたクソジジイをいきなり焼き捨て。お前の友人の悪魔女も消えろの一言でさっさと出てけだ。お前、どんだけ気まぐれで我がままなんだか。バトラ。もうやめた。何を笑わはもう飽きた。はあ。そりゃまあ。お前が追っ始めたゲームだぜ。飽きてくれて助かるってもんさ。つまるところ、投了ってわけだな。投了などではない。ただ終わるだけだ。いや、終わりもしない。このままゲームが永遠に放棄されるだけだ。そういうのを投了って言うんじゃねえのかよ。い
、うん、何度も何度も、うん、10月4日と5日をぐるぐる過ごしたわけだ<笑>ようやくこれでおやくごめんだなこれだ明後日には船が来るそうさそして船着き場には海猫も戻ってくる俺はようやく六軒島名物のあのニャーニャーいう鳴き声を聞けるわけだ何しろ島に来た時は天気のせいか全然いなかったからな海猫の鳴く頃に全ては終わるってわけだ Hey, he said it. Woohoo! Okay, roll the credits. <laughs> okay. Ori, Ori! Oshimai, Oshimai. Say, say, sra. Nani, oh. So, not a can't sing, I still look. Huh? Nani, oh, doctor. Nani, mo, waranuto. Warawa, I eat dazo. これにてすべては放置されるゲームは忘れられ盤上の駒はそのままに放置される進みも戻りも取りも取られもしない勝ちもなく負けもなく引き分けすらもないただ放置されるのだつまりはおしまいってことだろ違うわらわの手番にて永遠にゲームが止まるそなたの番は来ないだから勝ちも負けも引き分けもないかつてのわらわはそなたにそうされるわけにはいかなかったそなたに勝つという目的があったからだしかしそれに興味を失っただからこれ以上手番を進める意味がもう何もない俺に手番が来ないというのはどういう意味なんだ ?And the thought that Beto getting tired of the game meant I'd be released and that I'd be able to escape r o c k i n j i m a w h a t the hell did I just say?Rockin j i m a r o c k i n r o c k i n r o c k i n r o c k i n Rock and roll, baby. What? <laughs> But for some reason, Beatles repeated words about the difference between abandoning the game and settling it caught my attention. Just what is she. What is it she's been saying? And why the bad mood? Gee, I wonder why, the butler. Oh. At that time, I suddenly heard a voice from behind me. When I turned around, there was someone I thought I might or might not remember from somewhere. A mysterious girl with no light in her eyes was standing there. Hmm? Ben Castle, hello. This game is a game that is a game that is a game that is a game that is a game. ゲームは終わらないまま永遠に止め置かれるあんたが元の世界へ戻ることのできる唯一の方法はベアトに勝利することだけつまりベアトがゲームを放棄しちゃうってことはわかる Suddenly, in a different place was a girl wearing a bright pink dress I had a feeling I'd met her somewhere too, but I couldn't remember. More important was the meaning of her words. If the game is abandoned, then. Huh? So you could you. Show you a techie me cutting a sorrow and a kia. Get chuck she nine. Anatany. Mo a yen me. Show this the cono sekai cara nukedas cotonga deki nai to you could you. Sashi's me. Anata o tojikometa ori no kagio. ハートの首輪にでもくくりつけて飛ばしてしまうようなものかしら冗談じゃないわベアとそんなつまらないゲームを見に私たちがはるばるここまで来たわけじゃないのよこれでゲームをお開きなんて冗談じゃないわラムダに同じよ
私はバトラを勝利させあなたを敗北させてのた打ち回らせるためにやってきたのよまだその目的を達していないこんなところでゲーム放棄されて逃げ出されたんじゃたまらないわキョーラを失望させるゲームの幕切れとなったことは認めようしかしこの茶会のホストたるわらわは何しろ気まぐれ今日が覚めればもてなす術など知らぬもとよりそれがわらわの魔女たるゆえんのはず<笑>何も問題はなかろう確かにあなたの競技には反しないわ私は認めないわよふざけんじゃないわよあんたにどんだけ肩入れしたと思ってんのよここまでお膳立てさせてこれではいおしまいふざけんじゃないわよわらわは飽きたとそう言っているそれ以上もいいかもないそうはいかないわよあんたにはこのゲームを続けてもらうわバトラに勝利したいんでしょ勝って屈服させたいんでしょもう一息じゃないねえそそこで俺に振るんじゃねえ<笑>ただ俺にも意見はある、oh? All right, let's hear it. 言わせてくれ何かこいつはお前に売られた喧嘩だ俺はお前とはっきり白黒をつける覚悟がある何度か屈服しかけたが途中で逃げ出して勝負をうやむやにして逃げるつもりだけはさらさらねえ俺がここにいて戦う意志を見せている以上逃げるんじゃねえベアトリーチ同感だわバトラーを巻き込んでおいて勝ちも負けも与えずに立ち去るなんて無責任にも程がある Suddenly even Gretel was there and everyone was calling Beto irresponsible Yes どうやらわらわが無責任だと罵られる最大の理由はバトラが対戦相手としてとどまっているからということらしいならばバトラお前もまたわらわと同様に対戦相手を降りてくれぬかそれでならわらわは批判されることもない俺が降りると露見島を出られるのか出られるわけもなかろうが勝手に誇りを浴びて肩にでも積もらせよふざけないでなんて無責任な人なのあんたはこれだけ大勢の人間を殺したしかも魔女の力によって何度も何度も無ごたらしい殺し方でその責任を取らず逃げ出すなんて絶対に許せない責任ほうわらわはどのようにしてその責任とやらを取ればいいのか Stop being a little bitch you can do first bitch <laughs> What? <laughs> 決着をつけるまで戦いなさい Already <laughs> then? バトラは正面の席に座りあなたに打ち勝つまで決して諦めずに戦うだからあなたも任されるまで戦いなさいそれが嫌ならバトラーを任せてみせなさい許さない全てをうやむやにしてバトラーをこの席に放り出して永遠に閉じ込めて返さないなんて許さないグレーテル To be perfectly honest I didn't really understand from what standpoint Grentel was trying to save me. But in her words, I could feel a strong determination to save me from this insane game world no matter what. So I responded in kind. Beato, go to your mug. 
俺はここにいるお前の正面のライバルの席だわかるな俺がここに座り続ける限りお前に逃げはだから逃げるな戦えお前が始めた戦いだろうがこれだけ何度も何度も上等を決めやがってしっちゃかめっちゃかにやってくれたんだ今さら秋田で終わらせられるかよ俺はお前の対戦相手だ俺がここにある限り逃げるなんて許されるぞ聞いてるのかこの無責任魔女めなんとか言ってみろってんだ After I yelled at her, Bito went silent for a while. Whether my words had reached her or whether she was thinking about something completely different, I couldn't tell. But for a while, she was silent, gazing at me with an expression I could read no emotion from. And when she realized that I'd noticed, she adverted her gaze. Then, she turned her back to me and said this. バトラが対戦相手をやめてくれぬ以上このゲームを放棄することは認められぬとピョーラはおっしゃるわけかならばとうそもそもそこにいる男にわらわの対戦相手たる資格があるのかどうかをふん資格 ?Wait, what? 当然。さっきのテストとやらのことだぜ。何をする気あ、あんたまさか。What? これより、そなたにわらわの対戦相手たる資格があるかどうか。Okay. それを問う。But doing what? 良いか、バトラ。Oh, I'm not getting a good feeling from this. その資格が認められれば、わらわは席にとどまり、ゲームを続けよう。Okay. そして、勝敗の決着がつくまで、永遠に戦い続けることを約束しよう。<笑>俺にはもとより、その覚悟はあるぜ。しかし、その資格がなかったなら、そなたは消えよ。対戦相手が消えればゲームもないわらわは堂々とここを立ち去れるキョーラもよろしいか口出しは無用どうぞお好きなようにパパトラあんたしっかり答えるのよ What the fuck is this? Roll reversal here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, switcheroo. Alright. Shikakuga a r u k a r a k o s o o r e a k o k o n i i r u n d a r o Hmm. Nani mo b i e r k o t o n a n z a n e z e Masaka. Gretel grew suddenly pale. I'd thought her to be the calm, collected type. So that expression surprised me. So t h e b a t t l e Oh boy, what is it? a k a d e u s h o s t e m o r o Oh, god damn it. Oh, or any f u s h o y o k u t e g a Why does she have to do this? And yeah, two hours. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. Ah. <sighs> This sucks. Alright. Hehehe. Ore no Ohako Ubayagate. Scassi. Akaki Shinjit. Ore de Mote Kirinoka? Do you know? So that on Nenjiba de Kiroyo. Can't I? Why am I getting the switch roo here? b u r g c u s t o was on my side, and now it's the fucking Lam Delta here. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Well, she's only on my side because, well, to continue the game, obviously, but still.、Uh, okay, well, whatever. Anyway. Ore no nawa, Ushiromiya Batora. Oh, oh, Korea omosirea. 
No more blue. Yay. <laughs> Man, that blue really had no fucking presence in this episode except for well, that one chapter. <laughs> wow, okay. Why even bother introducing it? All right. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, I know too. I fucking realized it. I realized it. When Gretel yelled, a beetle glared at her. Then her form was wiped away in an instant. Oh, well, shit. Oh, well, well, well. Hmm. Burn Castle, please. God damn it. Uh, I think I know the outcome of this. I, th I think I know. Okay, I know maybe some of you are tired of me doing this, but I just want to point out what I think is about to happen. I think she's going to make Bachelor say in red in the red truth that witches exist that she's a witch that she's Beatrice the gold does end this witch blah 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 right and so he has to say it and that starts a conflict with him and himself because the whole point of the game was to prove of the humans and now uh, witches don't exist and shit right magic bleh <laughs> And then he remembers in the in the game board piece of this whole episode here in episode four what Kyrie said to believe that witches exist no matter what. So he'll use what Kyrie said and just like that, right? Okay, sorry. Anyway. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Okay. I shall question your qualifications. Interesting attack and defense are reversed from a normal game. Okay, okay. まずは笑わが赤で語る。ああ、オッケー。笑わは黄金の魔女、ベアトリーツ。いや、ファッキングニューイット。そして、後ろ宮金蔵の孫、後ろ宮バトラと戦うために、このゲームを開催した。ああ
Are you fucking telling me Kyrie has been his blood-related mother this whole fucking time? Oh my god, if that's it. If that's fucking it. Oh my god. Vito urged me with the same indifferent tone, but I don't have a clue what she's trying to do. I have absolutely nothing to feel guilty for that would trouble me if thrown in my face and there's nothing that I'm hiding. There's nothing that could trouble me by demanding that I repeat it. So, why do something like this? You won't be able to, man. No? <sighs> okay, well... Mothers of... Uh, no. Wait. I'm so confused. Okay, so that wasn't it. Okay, so no, the real mother... Oh, I'm so... Oh my god, I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> okay, I I'll shut up about any future theories then, because I'm way off, apparently. On any grounds. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> but the word mother That's a loose loose mother there. Not that <laughs> I'm what I mean is like she didn't ask him there's like blood related mother. Like that like like that, right? Maybe? I... Fuck. I... Okay. Oh my... I'm just... Blood-related mother. He can't say it in that red, right? Okay, no. I was wrong? He already did that. Hmm. He already, he already did that. Oh my god, yeah, I was right. Okay, never mind. Yeah, these questions are in related to the actual blood-related mother. Oh my god, Kyrie really was? Well, I mean, it makes sense with the hair color, but I always thought maybe just from the family of the Ushiromiya blood, you know what? But oh my god, okay. No? What is going on? I'm so confused. I'm being thrown back and forth here. You know what? I'm just shutting the fuck up. I'm sorry, everyone, okay? I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. Wasn't that exactly the same question as the last? What? It was from Ushiro Mia Asumu that you were born. I'm so confused. Help. <laughs> okay, he can't say it. At that time, my throat suddenly closed. I was rapidly assaulted with a choking suffocation. What's going on? One more time. うしろみ<笑> My mom is Ushiro Mia Asuma, right? Why can't I say that fact in red? What's going on? Th this is. Ugh. 
わらわはそなたを青で追求させてもらう。Oh, okay, here is blue. All right. 覚えているな。青は。相手を否定する仮説を宣言するのに用いる。Right. それは赤での否定が義務付けられ。それがない場合、勝利となる。では、マイルズ。以上の副賞要求並びに副賞拒否からわらわはそなたに対戦相手の資格がないことを宣言するなぜならベアトリーチェは後ろ宮金蔵の孫である後ろ宮バトラと戦うためにゲームを開催したからだよって対戦相手であるそなたには後ろ宮金蔵の孫である後ろ宮バトラであることを赤で宣言する義務が生じるそれに対する復讐をそなたは拒否したこれは資格の喪失を意味するものであるあ赤でそれの何かを否定するのよ早くあああ俺は後ろ宮バトラだそれを赤で復唱できている以上俺はお前の対戦相手のはずだぜそなたが後ろ宮バトラの名を持つことは事実であるしかし人命は独占されたものではない複数の人間が後ろ宮バトラを名に持つことは可能であるすなわちこういうことだそなたは後ろ宮アスムの息子後ろ宮バトラと同姓同名の別人である What? な,なんだと What the fuck? バカなこと言うんじゃねえ俺はおふくろの子だぞ後ろ宮アスムの子だ俺は後ろ宮アスムからチクショーなぜだなぜ俺がおふくろから生まれたと言えないんだこんなバカなことがあるというのか苦しむことはないわらわは遊ばぬこれ見て。チェックメイトだそなたは後ろ宮アスムの息子ではない。What? そんなバカな。そなたは誰か後ろ宮バトラーを名乗る何者なのちょちょっと待てよ。俺は。後ろ宮バトラだ俺は後ろ宮アスムから生まれた親父とおふくろの息子だいいやわらわの対戦相手たる後ろ宮バトラであるはずがないその証拠に証拠だとそなたは6年前の罪を知らない What? What the fuck happened? So, 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 Is it because of, the, of what he did? He, Shin no Shiromi a Batora Naraba, Tsumi na do Okasana. Daga, Kekka Tekini Tsumi wa Okori. Rokunen no Tsukihi na Ku Hak to Nate. Huh. 当時は何も知らぬ男が後ろ宮バトラーを名乗って六軒島へ姿を現したえその真相はこうだ OK Six years ago my opponent the true 後ろ宮バトラー was already dead? What? <laughs> What? 
You were part of a plot by Rudolph having something to do with distributing of the inheritance. A body double set up in Ushuromiya Bachelor's place. So, so what? So まあ、言い返せないなら仕方がないわ。バトラにその資格はなかった。そういうことよ。ペル、それでいいのそれを認めちゃったら、あんたも負けちゃうのよ。あんたは勝っちゃうんでしょう。Yeah, that is weird. ザンネイ、バトル。あなたにベアトリーチェの対戦相手たる資格がなかったなんてとても残念。私も浮かつだったの。資格のない駒に張ってたなんてね。私の乾杯だわ。ベアトリーチェ。負けも勝ちもない。
さらばだ Without saying anything more, she clouded her own form in darkness as well, and it disappeared. What in the holy fucking donkey shits is this? <sighs> I am so confused. Well, I thought my two theories were pretty good, but I guess, you know, fuck me, right? <laughs> Alright, holy shit. I was way off. Yeah, what the hell is with this role reversal shit right here? Yeah. <laughs> まあ、無限の欠片世界のこと。どこかでまた語縁がある確率は、それこそ戦長分の1よりも少ないでしょうけれど。じゃあね。楽しかったわ。バイバイ。ボイボイ。あ、待ってよ、ベル。Chasing after Burn Castle. Who had disappeared first, them Delta disappeared as well. After that, everyone was gone, and the study was now completely empty. It returned to silence, almost as though no one had been there from the outset. No one was here in the first place. The silent study spoke that wordlessly, and the sound of the wind and rain began to fill the room bit by bit. Well. Alrighty then. In a world where everything had sunk into darkness, Bito questioned herself. Yeah, Hari. Maho wa hajime kara. マリアージュソルシエルの中だけで使うべきであったな。そうだね。マリアもエンジェの時にそう思ったよ。魔女同盟はわらわとソナタ。その二人で始めた。他のものを混ぜようというのがそもそもの間違いであったの。こんなにも楽しいからマリアたちはその輪に親しい誰かを加えたかったよねそうして魔女同盟がどこまでも大きくなってみんなで楽しく魔法が使えて幸せになれたらと願っただが魔法を理解できるのはやはりわらわとそな
いいよ何もかも忘れてしまおう二人だけのマリアージュ・ソルシエール私たちは互いを認め合うそして誰にも傷つけられないだからもう傷つかない泣かないすべて忘れようねベアと私たちは永遠だよマリア<笑><laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and overwrite through that. Okay, thank you. God damn. Ugh, I've been recording for a little bit more than two and a half hours, right? Yeah, damn. Thanks. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Again, like I said, left me with more questions than answers, but I hope those get answered soon, or I will have a fit. <laughs> Uh, let's face it, that, uh, they're, they're not going to be answered anytime soon. Anyway. Yeah, that was another long one. Not as long as the other one. <laughs> Thank God. Alright. Uh, but yeah. Sorry for the five or... Well, actually, now it's pretty much six days hiatus. Um, I was just a little bit depressed. But I got into the group of things again thanks to certain people offering me great comments and encouragement and motivation and whatnot. Uh, some of you may know who you are. Thank you again. Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because there will be more Umu Neko no Naku Kroni. I like saying that full title now. Something about it just, hmm. Rolls off my tongue perfectly. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I have a very good sense that we are very close to the end of this episode. Um, so I don't... I don't know if I'm going to do it again like I did with episode 3. Make it all in one episode. That would probably be about four hours. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Oh, uh, I'll probably just... Even if one, ch one of the final chapters is like 30 minutes, I'll just do a video like that. It's fine. I'm just going to go chapter by chapter, and then once it ends, I'll probably connect the Tea Party shit after that, or make it a separate video. Not sure how I'm going to do it. We'll find out at the moment that it happens. Um, so yeah, again, very close to the end of episode 4. After episode four ends, as an as a, can't speak, as an announcement, there we go. Uh, after this, I will be doing the final chapter of Higurashi, chapter eight. Immediately after. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with episode five and onwards with Umineko. I don't know if I'm still gonna be streaming those or not. I will post up a video concerning that. And um, we'll see how all of your reactions are in the comments of that video. Um, depending on that, uh, we'll see how things progress with the rest of the Umineko series. But yeah, after this, Higurashi, last chapter, chapter 8. Look forward to that. Um, I'm also sorry that I haven't been streaming as I wished I could. Uh, just scheduling it does not work well with me i may end up streaming back during the nights for two to three hours 
since I can't get the fucking time of day to save my life. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll try my best to get things sorted out for that. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, sticking around throughout the whole video, if you did. And thanks for listening to me rambling on at the ending here. <laughs> I'll finally shut the fuck up and uh, end it here. So again, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all for the next chapter. But until then, please, as a reminder, stay sinful, folks! <laughs>